All right, so this video, let's take a look at finding the x and y intercepts of a rational function. All right, so let's go ahead and just, just write this down real quick. So to find the x-intercept, or x-intercepts if you have more than one. All right, so to do that, we let y equal zero and solve for x. And then to find the y-intercept, or intercepts, you could have more than one, we let x equal zero and solve for y. Or, you know, in this case we have we have f of x. So for this, we're just letting x equal zero. You can just simply evaluate f of zero to find the y intercept. Okay? So there's how you find the x intercept. This is how you find the y intercept. So uh, another way to look at it is let's just say we have a line here. And I know it's not a rational function, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, x, y intercept. So this point here is a y intercept. That's where it crosses the y axis. This point here is an x intercept. Okay? That's where the point crosses the x axis. So if you look at this point here, what would be the coordinates of that point? Well, did we move up or down on the y-axis? No, we didn't move up, we didn't move down. So the y-coordinate would be 0, and then you can see the x-coordinate is some number. Okay. So you see, to find the x-intercept, we let the y-coordinate be 0, and then we have to figure out what x is. And then the same thing over here, well, what's the coordinates of this point? Well, did we move left or right on the x-axis? No, we didn't move left or right. So the x-coordinate is 0, and then the y-coordinate here, well, we have to figure out what that number is. See, we let x equal 0, and then we have to solve for y. Or you can just simply evaluate the function at 0. All right, so... For this problem, let's go ahead and find the x-intercept. Let me change colors here. All right, so let's find the x-intercept first. All right, so the x-intercept, basically all you do is you set the rational function equal to 0. So we get 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 0. Now, this is a rational function. When is a rational function zero? Well, that's only when the numerator is zero. So all we have to do is set the numerator equal to zero and solve for x. So I'm going to add one. So I get 2x equals one. Divide by two, I get x equal one half. So the x coordinate is one half. And then what's the y coordinate? Well, remember, I chose y to be 0. See, let y equal 0. So this is my x intercept, 1 half 0. Now let's find the y intercept. Well, to find the y intercept, all I'm going to do is evaluate the function at 0. So I'm going to plug 0 in for x. So that's 2 times 0 minus 1 over 0 minus 1. That get Well, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And so that gives me positive 1. So my y-intercept, well, remember the y-intercept, I chose x to be 0. And what did I get for y? I got 1. And so this is my y-intercept.
Okay. Remember f of x, that's the same thing as if we wrote y equals that. It's the same thing. All right. So let's just look at this one. This is j just do one more. All right. So let's go ahead and find the x intercept. So I've got the x intercept. So I'm going to take the 3x squared minus 14x. minus 5. Now remember, we're setting this whole thing equal to 0, okay, over 2x squared plus 3x minus 20 equals 0. But remember, the only time that a rational function is 0 is when the numerator is 0. So I've got 3x squared minus 14x minus 5 equals 0. And so we factor, and so let's see, that's going to be 3x, x, 5, 1, negative, positive. So I get 3x plus 1 equals 0, or x minus 5 equals 0. So this gives me 3x equals negative 1, x equal negative 1 third, and here I get x equal so my x-intercepts are negative one-third, zero, and five, zero. And so there's my x-intercept. Now for the y-intercept, I just evaluate the function at zero. So that's three times zero squared minus 14 times zero minus five over 2 times 0 squared. And look, you know, on this one I put the 0 and then the squared inside the parentheses. Here I put the 0 and the squared outside. That doesn't matter. Okay. And then plus 3 times 0 minus 20. And so this is 0 minus 0 minus 5 is negative 5. And then 0 plus 0 minus 20 is negative 20. And so that's one-fourth. And so and so my y-intercept is the point, well, x was zero. And then when I evaluated, I got y to be one-fourth. And so there's my y-intercept. All right, so I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.